Hello everybody, I want to have an episode of Mixed Mowers. In today's episode, we're going to take a little look at this super duper mount filled MHJ2424 hedge trimmer. Um, apparently it's all running, um, but, the, but the handle don't return. Not quite sure if it's a cable fault, spring fault or what it is. Um, and uh, we're going to look, look into that today. Um, should be an easy fix, I think, unless anything's broken in there, but I hope it might just be just for putting components back job. Uh, we shall see. Um, it belongs to my, my mate Mark, belongs to his wife. She's a professional lawn care um, person as well. And uh, they use it just for uh, for doing uh, little hedges and bits and pieces. Um, so a look at that. If this is your first time I'm watching Mixed Murders, hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. And without further ado, let's get down dirty. Let's check out this little mount field hedge trimmer. Right, so hopefully this will be quite a quick little fix is what I'm hoping. Um, Cause he did say it was all running. So hopefully it will be. First thing we do, take the little air box off. That's the first one we're gonna do. Just to expose the, the, the face of the carburetor a bit more. That's it. I just wanna see what's occurring with this down here, the, the throttle, see if that actually when you pull it, it's not actually springing back as it should do. It could be gunk in the, in, the, in the pipe. It's just not coming back. It's just staying put. So first thing we're gonna do is WD-40 all the way over and a clean and an air compress. Bit of all down inside that cable if we can get it. So just a general clean the lube. Just to see, rather than taking it all apart, if we actually have to um, take this apart or not. And I can already tell it is better already, but it's not doing what it should be doing. It's springing back to a degree, but it doesn't feel like there's actually any force. Well, I don't know, that's coming back. That's coming back, that is. Let's put some um, some gunk down into there. If I can get in there. In there. All the way in. Now, I would say, looking at this here, can you see that, Danny? Let me bring you in. Let me bring you in a smidge so you can see what's going on. I don't like, I don't, I don't rip people off. If you don't need, don't need no work, and just need a bit of lubrication, I'm into that. You know, I, if I ain't got to work on something, I don't need to. So now, that's doing its job, isn't it? That's doing what it should be doing. It's not as responsive, I must admit, but it's not a, um, a professional grade machine. But it definitely is. It's not going to always back up, I must admit. Do I look at the handle or not? To see if that spring's come off. Because look, if I push it down and let go, there's still a little tiny bit it can have. Or is it just need working? You know, just to try and free it up. No, it's not doing what it should be doing. It's stopping further down now. Yeah, let's have a little look inside then. I thought I'd be in for, I bought, thought it was in for an easy one then, guys, but not to be. Um, so I'm going to take this handle apart. Little Torx bit. I don't like taking these handles apart, because you, I like to see what's inside them before we take them apart. Do you know what I mean? You take it apart and bits fall out, and oh, before you know what's going on, you're in the right trouble. Um, so I'm not keen on doing these. They're not, not my, uh, my preferred job in the world. But hey-ho, it's what's come on the bench. So the handle's working better with a bit of lubrication, but it does need to have um, further investigation in my opinion. It's not quite coming back as far as, as far as it should and as fast as it should. Doesn't seem to be a lot of tension there. So all these springs should be about the same size. So all we're gonna do, what I'm hoping is a spring up here, it's come adrift and not snapped. But I don't have no spares for it. 
but we shall see. There's no rush for it back, so if it does need spare parts, it needs spare parts, but these are quite tricky to find the spare parts for them, despite the fact they are mass produced. So that's all the screws now out. So now, let me bring you guys around a bit more, try and get a little bit closer. That's a bit better. Now we should be able to separate this up without upsetting too much. I want to see where that spring is. There's a little clip here, I'm not sure what that does. But that should all come apart and give me what I want. That's why I don't like doing these. Uh, turn that up or down to swivel it. That, that don't seem to work. That's, good. That's better, I'll swivel it. That might give us a bit more access. Oh, I'm not seeing a spring. Any more screws to come out? No. I'm guessing I'll take a bit more apart. There's a bottom plate handle there. I don't think I'll take that off, surely. Surely, surely. Surely, surely. It is coming. Just don't want to break it. Well, what I'm looking for is a spring. I can see a spring in there. That I can see. There's a little tiny diddy spring in there. And it's just underneath this main throttle arm. I can see it. I've got to somehow figure out how to take all this lot off. So I'm guessing we're going to have to take this Phillips screw driver, this Phillips screw out here. That may release a bit more of it. We shall see. It should come apart, shouldn't it, really? Let's take this one off. Let's take him out. Oh, that is actually a torx bit. There's me trying to unwind it with a Phillips screwdriver. Doesn't appear to be actually a torx bit. Let's take that off. Just because we can. Just want to see if that gives me any more or doesn't. It don't give me no more. Somehow if this is separate off. Now the hardest part of these springs is knowing which way around the spring went. That's the hardest part. And the spring has snapped. That's the problem. So we need a new spring. Isn't that a pain in the bum? It snapped just there. So until I can find one of those, we're gonna be stuck. That's the truth. So I'm guessing these two bits here, they lock in like so. And that spring will fit underneath onto the collar and will hold onto there somewhere. So it'll go onto there. Onto there. Doesn't quite seem high enough to go anywhere else. It may even lock onto there actually. Into there. Yeah, might lock onto there. Either way, the spring is knackered. Do you know what? I don't I don't think I don't think you're gonna get that. I don't think you are. However, I might have something in the shed in the old mixed mows um bits and pieces um department. Let's have a little look, see what I've got in spares for old broken hedge trimmers and see if we can't find something very similar to make that work. Okay, so we're back in the shed. Um, to be fair, um, it's been about two weeks since I've been in here, but the heat has been absolutely outrageous in here. And I can't work in here. I'm working on this um, this hedge trimmer. It's been here for two weeks, nearly. Um, as you know, um, the spring has gone. So I've done a bit of Googling, and um, the spring I tried to make fit uh, would never have worked, only because, if I get this one out of the packet, it's right down in the darkest depths of the packet. It will get stuck in there. Yes. Uh, the tail on this spring is huge, and the spring would never have ever worked uh, for what I wanted it to do. So I've ordered a new spring. The spring is about four and a half, five quid, somewhere in there. Um, so hopefully uh, we can now get on and finish, finish this little tiny hedge trimmer. Um, 
I just googled a part number on the top and that's what came up and uh, it seems to be um, quite generic um, and the, the tail I had was, was tiny it's only about here so that's never going to work so hopefully now we can fit this so so we'll uh, carry on and uh, try and get this fitted so I'm getting as close as I can uh, obviously um, I can't get in too close to I need to get in myself you may get a bit of wind interference because I've got a little fan going in the background it is still very very warm in here but uh, the temperature has dropped but if I get a bit of wind interference it's because I've got a fan going quick sip of the old coffee right so i've got this um this little um throttle linkage just here and uh, what you want to do i think is it wants to be up that way and it's got a catch up in here uh it's got to sit in there like so that's where it's got to sit so the spring's got to go this way up and that will go in first oh, i'm not the old tripod you really are quite close so that's got to go in there like so and that will give me a bearing roughly as to where this spring actually fits on a bit later on because at the moment I don't have no clue as to where that fits but hopefully once I get the, uh, the handle in it should become a bit more self-explanatory and it wants to go that way round that's got to sit on its little tiny housing which would be around about there that's it <clears throat> and then we can push this back and down and we want it to fit on the spring as I just showed you it might be best actually if we take this out I don't think I can actually I don't want to take it out and fit it at the same time I don't think I can we'll try it and you're not going to get a brilliant view because obviously my hands are all going to be right in the way. But uh, I need to get in here. So that's got to sit on there like so. So let's fit that as is, if we can. That's all gone down. And I would say that's got that, that might even just hook behind that, that there. We should see it seems to be quite taut. There's nowhere actually that I'm seeing visible where this little spring actually fits in. And that's quite a way back. I would, I would expect to see a little tiny catch groove or something for that to sit in. But I'm not seeing it as of yet. So we'll leave it as it is just there. And then we want to get the second piece in. Let's get this um, cable in place as well. I'm going to sit that underneath that, that spring, and that's going to sit in. It's, it's got the cable got a little tiny housing. It's got to sit in, which is going to be just roughly in there. So that one now sits in there, lovely. And I'm wondering. You'd expect to see a little tiny catch here. You see, that's got to sit on there like so all uh, right so i wonder if this little tiny catch here of this spring sits up inside there that's what i'm wondering the problem's gonna be this cable that's that's the problem child i think that does i think that little spring sits in there and then once we get the cable in place all locks in. Let's go a bit more forward yet to about there. I'd say it's just a bit fiddly, and getting the cable in place is no is no easy thing to do. I've got the cable trapped down this bottom end of the handle as well. Let me just bring that round so that sits in there better. That's it. Yeah, that's working better. And now I've got to try and fit this cable into its little tiny housing. So that's locked off. That sits into there. I'll put the on off switch in as well, which is probably not helping matters either. It goes up into there. Now the cable is not a million miles away where it needs to be, but there's a little tiny housing it's got to sit in. And once that sits in that housing, 
and stays there. I'm going to put the handle down on top. You see what I'm trying to do? You can see the gist of it. That cable's got to go a bit further forward. That's got to go into there, like so. But every time that cable wants to jump out of its place, which is rather annoying. Okay. So now, I'm going to try and fit that into position. And it's got to sit over the top of that, so it then all sits down together. It's a bit, you see, see what I'm trying to do, can't you? Something like that. That's not a million miles away. We're nearly there, apart from the cable just won't sit down. If the cable sits down, then we'll be laughing. See this little tiny tab just here is what keeps the cable pushing down and it's not, not the tightest of fits. That wants to go there with that spring inside it. So let me take that back off. Excuse fingies. I'm trying to hook that cable up into the arm. I'm going to swing it all the way down, all the way down. That's not a million miles away. If I can get that cable just to sit down quietly now. <clears throat> Somewhere there. The cable's come too far forward. That's locked off. I can't, can't squeeze the trigger, squeeze it in, and it gives it full force. So we are there. Just now I've got to try and fit this cable in. Once this all sits down together, it's caught up around the back here. That's it there, somewhere there. So let me get a couple of screws in, just to hold it in place. So now, no throttle, throttle, and now when we tip this back the other way, this is where it didn't work before. Yeah, no throttle, full throttle. Now it says it wasn't ticking over right, but now I can see that throttle's gone all the way back. So that's that done. I'll get some juice in it. We have a quick little fire up, and um, we saw it does. He said it was running. Um, just it was just the throttle was uh, was uh, no good. So we'll see what we, what we get out of the throttle now. See if it runs over. And we'll go from there. Right, let's see if I can fix this little hedge trimmer. <clears throat> um, just took the cover off and uh, just want to prime it up and try and start it and see if it doesn't run idle and uh, run it flat out and all the throttle works as it should do. Okay, so that's that little mount field hedge trimmer now all up and running exactly as it should do. And uh, yeah, I did try to modify my own spring to make it fit. However, it didn't. Let me put my chair down on touch. Yeah. <laughs> Bob. Okay. Um, so that's all working and it's gone back to a customer. He's super, super happy. And uh, if he's happy, I'm happy. So that's super, super cool. Anyway, um, guess what? What? Postman Pat's just turned up. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'll be here. All right. You get a bit excited, are you? Yeah. Down there, so okay. yeah, Post and Pat's just a second turned up, and uh, I sort of knew this parcel was on its way. Um, 
only because um, Junior um, from the Grass Rats Garage, um, Terrell <gasps> Fixes All Team. Is it? Waiting, have been in contact with me um, over Messenger. Been having a bit of a chat and a bit of a FaceTime, just generally just just chilling, you know, just Daddy. just chewing the fat. Yeah. Is it what that was? Well, let's have a little look. And uh, he said, "Would um, Riley Boy like a little um, parcel to be sent over to him?" So of course I said yes yeah, because Riley Boy loves a parcel, you right? Call, you call him? Yeah. No, he called me. What's he? I was just we just had a chat, just a general chit chat. Mm -hmm. Me, him, and Pete, quite good. Yeah. So yeah, they've sent a parcel over. Just here. Does anyone recognise the face on the front of a parcel? Oh. Hmm, who's that? My dad That's Terra of Grass Rats Garage. So they sent you a parcel. Let me get something a bit sharp to open it up, buddy boy. Dad's got a nice sharp knife here. Don't, don't let, me, let me open it up. Two seconds. Oh, you've done it. Okay, right there. Okay, right. Let me get rid of a knife. Oh, my! So, let's open it up. and we did it nice and slowly. So you've got a brand new, let's just show the guys, a brand new Terrell Fixes All beaker cup for him to... Um, what does? Yeah, slow down. I do him to slow down, <laughs> slow down. For him to drink his juice out of. That's super, super cool. So we've got one of those. We've got a, a Blade Man and Throttle um, key ring uh, bottle opener on the back. So we're having the old cans of pop. That's super cool. <gasps> What's this one here? What the hell is it? You've got your own Grass Ratch Garage music CD, the album. That's super cool. So who's that there? What the hell is it? There he is. And there's your dinner. So they're sent over. Uh, for Riley Boy, uh, their Grass Rats Garage CD, which is fantastic. He, he's always on his um, on the Alexa, uh, bopping away. Yes, buddy. You try it out in Daddy's car. We can try it out in Daddy's car, definitely. So we've got one of those. What else have we got here? What's this one here? Yeah, you've got two of these. Daddy and my mom. What's that one? Yeah, but, uh, what's the one you cup? They're, yeah, for putting cups. They're called cozies. You put your cans in there. Daddy's already got one, but... Um, Where is it? It's, uh, it's uh, over there. It's over just there. Um, so, they're for putting your, your cans in. Keep your cans nice and cool. So, we've got two of those. Daddy? Is that good? Daddy? Yeah? I did one more one shopping. Hang on. What are these? I'll show you. you show you guys. I do. Um, what's that? We've got a Decumish. Um, Decumish engine sticker. Um, it's good. We, we love it. We love it to come see. We got um, YouTube Terra fixes all um, decals. Um, finals, at, finals on YouTube. So we've got some decals there, some cards. They're super, super cool. Hang on, slow down. A Grass Rats Garage um, sticker as well, all on its Todd, which is super cool. Who order? No, Junior sent them over to you. He said you can have them. They're a present for you. What? Say thank you, Junior. To Mark? Yeah, Junior. Another to come a sticker. What's that? Yeah, he said. He said you can have them. What else we got? We got, we got a Terrell, a Terrell sticker. Uh, I don't know who took. Who's uh, that? Oh, uh, oh, I know. That's slippers. Uh, We've got a slippers one. I know, sir. So. Yeah. Uh, where is it? I don't know. What? Uh, uh, hey, what do you mean? Yeah. yeah. Where? We got a uh, a junior one as well. I know, Shane. Yeah. Yeah. We got. We got. We got. We got a few of theirs. Not all of them. Where? Come sit down, buddy. We got a Moa Shield one as well. That's cool. A PSD one. We do it later on. Come here. Come here. <laughs> it's right again. Come here. We've got some more bits to look at. Yeah. It's right again. Yeah. Come sit down. It's right again. We got some Terrell fixes all grass ratch garage stickers as well. We've also got some there's your dinner stickers as well. What's that? Uh, that's Junior Terrell and slippers. We got um, grass ratch garage sticker there. Two of those. And we've got some big ones, Terrell fixes all ones there as well. Daddy. We've got loads, loads of stickers. Daddy. Yeah. Are you sure him? That's Terrell, yeah, that's Terrell. Are you sure him? Yeah. I'm going to do it. Right, yeah, you've got, what's that one in there? What's that in there? Hmm. hmm. I'll be fucked out. What's <laughs> funny? <laughs> it's funny, go on. Dave, here, open it. Dave's open up for you. There you go. Oh, oh, it's stuck. I can't get into it. Hang on, wait a minute. Let me bust it open. There you go. Right, pull that out. Open it yeah. It's a very special necklace. Before. And it's got a champion. Um, 796112. And look, it's Riley's own Terrell Fixes All necklace. Yeah, too. Look at that. How cool is that? Yeah, too. You like that? Fantastic. So you've got a necklace. I got you. Um, and we've got a. Who's that one? That, that's slippers. We've got a slippers. Um, I've just seen these come out actually. These are cool. Uh, slippers new coffee mug. That's, ah, that, that's a big mug. Daddy, too. Yeah. You you tell well. I'm not tell well. Oh, I, sometimes I dress up the same, don't I? Yeah. Very similar. So that's cool. You got more beard. Yeah, a, a beard and a hat. hat. And then we've got wow. What's this? Yes, 
close it. What's the top loss? Have a look. What the top? Oh, I, yeah. I it? got eagle off. Oh, wow. Sarah oh, fixed his old t-shirt. I know where. That's, a, that's about no, That's about the right size. I know where. Yeah, won't be ripping that up, will That's brilliant. Daddy one for you. Might be one for Daddy. We shall see. See how lucky Daddy is. Let's see what that was. All right, Kate. It is. It is another one. Wait till let's have a look first. Let's have a look first. There's a grey one. Hey, sir. Terrell fixes all That's the perfect size. Perfect size. See one for you, Daddy. Might be one for Daddy. That does go back. Does go back. Does go a bit bigger. I would eat. Yeah. Maybe. Turn it round. Turn it round. Turn it round. There you go. And there is one for Daddy. Super, super big. What's that? Terrell fixes it all. And there's your dinner. Let's put them on quick. Back in two ticks. So there you go. We've all got our Terrell fixes all. Um, and there's your dinner. Um, T-shirts, merchandise on. Cheers, Riley boy. Fantastic. So thank you very much to um, Terrell, um, Junior and Slippers over there at the Grass Rats Garage. If anyone doesn't know who they are, and I suspect you all do already, Go on to YouTube and check out Terrell Fixes All for all your mower, workshop repairs, hacks, how-tos and easy fixes. He's over there with his team and uh, they do amazing work. So go and check them out. Thank you very much for sending little Riley Boy some bits and pieces because we all know Riley Boy loves a little parcel. And uh, to be fair, you guys have outdone yourself. Super, super happy. So thank you very much for joining this episode of Mixed Mowers. I'll hold for you, yeah, no problem. Put it over here next to Slippers Mug. We look forward to seeing the next episode very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, more importantly, take her easy. What's the